fire for mid heroes. The only downside is Zeus burns two refraction charges per nuke he throws up yep. with his third skill. I'm also worried about bounding him up. Zai could throw that down, and then the, the push would just be so easy to kill him. Claim first blood, and then Lone Ventum will then shoot. Uh, instead, though, they bring Lua with a TP. Chuan harassing into Zai, and there's that tombstone drop. So Zai has the advantage at the moment. Lua is trying to get rid of the tombstone, but Pumpy harassing him down. Chuan, oh, he's trying to do the work. They're bringing him more help with a burst heal, actually hitting into Chuan. And now Luo, he might have a bolt of valuable faith, trying to take away a little bit of the damage, but they're chasing Luo into the tree line. Kuro right Run. behind him. He's just having to juke it around. And this movement, the boots. It's doing the work until he gets body blocked by Faith, but Kuro picked up, thrown back into the tree line. He's still right on top of Luo. The lightning bolt down. Kuro is dropping. He needs to get away oh, from Kuro the tower, dead. but he cannot do so in time. IG get the counter kills out. Yeah, they get the counter kills, but that was a on both sides, like Zai and S4 are on the radiant side of the jungle. They throw the tombstone down, oh, start with a cake into stone. the ulti, and Fate actually stealing the game. That's not going to help with the sonic wave from S4. Perfect positioning. They're getting track kills. Ferrari will try and TP out of here. Will he be in time? He gets back to base and he will survive. He's going to be careful with that, but the undying tombstone makes it very difficult for anyone else from IG to chase down. And in fact, he doesn't even kill the tombstone. He has to move over to help out against Zai, but Zai getting soul ripped. He's still got oh, 10 stick heal. charges. Now the soul, the, the, the shell. Like great, keeping him alive. S4 oh, as a scream being stolen only, but Arteezy, the man in the front lines, can't kill Burning. The cold embrace keeping him alive. Now they've gone through the Undying, but Arteezy still with the Aegis Immortal, wanting to force the issue, going through Chuan, getting a double kill before the Aegis will finally pop. And now they move over to Luo. Puppy and S4 chasing so him down. Mana. Puppy is just so low. They get the track kill at the end of the day as well. A triple kill for Arteezy. Yeah, as he kills off the Bloodseeker there in the end. Chuan trying to move up, they trigger the drum charge, IG. Ah, they went in, they took the tombstone, and uh, probably gonna prompt Secret to play a little bit defensively till they have it. The Secret really only just want the tower, like, <laughs> and, and that, that Daedalus is now being bought, like, that Demon Edge, the Kuri's coming out from at the same time, IG, they're out, they pop instantly, Puppy, he couldn't get much off, in fact, they even stole the weave over on the Rubik while no, Zai out walking, well. yeah. he, he mechs, and into the trees, he's very visible, do they have a stun, they have faith with Tulk so they just got the damage out, but to find the kill. Yep, they got a lot there, the creep wave was still cut was up so early. Now Arteezy will go in and try Roshan, but because Track was stolen by Rubik, he sees Kuro. That Halberd is really big. Like, there's no BKB on the TA, so he could actually stop her. At the same time. They have to rush in, though. They might stop her, but Roshan, they can't stop that. Look at the solid crest over on Roshan. They'll start the fight. The Tombstone up in the higher ground, but Arteezy already with that Aegis the model attacking and building a Sonic Wave! Hitting so hard, even with the side blades build damage. Arteezy changes up. They want the Jaro. Now they can move over to Ferrari, even if Kuro is been picked up by the already dead Rubik. This is a slaughter for Secret. 17 not, to 8. I would not be surprised to see a GG call, honestly. That, that felt like now we have to win this fight. We have to go in and turn it. But S4 has been like perfect positioning every damn fight. His ulties are just amazing. I And Kuroki, you have to get credit for the vision that he puts into that as well. Because he keeps just tracking people up. Like the only breathing room that IG kind of felt like they had was when they took the two hero kills and went for the top tier one tower. That was the only time when I felt like IG had some control of this game. Uh, at all for the points. There was no controlling secret in this game, Toby. There was definitely not. There was no controlling the Templar Assassin once. Dude, just get the tap out of the way and then all hell just breaks loose after that. Yeah, it's working really well for every team. And they're just getting more tracks, and there's a jump in fate. The ghost that will keep him alive, Arteezy, still has the Aegis of the Immortal. We have to ban this assignment. Oh, bounce 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 Hunter, he gets the bounce through, and he just keeps the track up. There's three heroes who are tracked right now, and S4 back into the fray. S4 being controlled for the moment, but Luo so low. In comes Arteezy with the old Aldi. Arteezy, there's your Aegis plop popping. Finally, but S4 still standing his ground. He's gonna kill off Chuan. Arteezy back oh, to the the side blade! Oh, Arteezy just man of man and oh, takes out IG by himself. Are you kidding? That perfect lineup. <laughs> and now he buys the Monkey King bar to toast his victory. I'm feeling pretty good about this, Toby. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, you could see it coming too, like S4. Yep. When they did, they lined up. It was a, it was a line. Oh god. Like, it's a one game. Like it's a Templar. You go up against Templar Assassin. Do not Congo and hoping they can pop someone. Yeah, you should always buff him up before he does his ulti on Zeus. 
very important. Even though it doesn't buff the full damage, it's still... It's running out, but you just saw Ferrari do it. They jump in. Now, S4, the front lines. Ferrari hexed up. What do we get? Solid only scream. S4, the blind one's in a really good position, but with a sonic wave, the zoo totally doesn't do enough. They've lost three. They're just trapped in the tree line. Hatizi just won his down Chuan, and that is game. They cannot win. GG, Team Secret, with over a 35,000 net worth advantage. And the most convincing win that we've seen so far, including including wildcard matches. Very true. This is a very, was, very tough game for IG. That was a crushing. That was an absolute crushing by Secret on IG. We're going to have ourselves a break. Right we'll back. come back and compose our thoughts, as IG will also do the same. That's their first game of TI. Welcome to the International.